judge sentenced Sean Brown to 30 years in prison just a short time ago for the mistaken identity shooting death of 14 year old Amir Griffin in a South Jamaica playground in 2019. Brown mistook the teenager for a rival gang member at the time. Prior to his sentencing, Brown tried to revoke his plea, an attempt the judge ultimately denied. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon was in court today. Sonia? Yeah, Sandra, 21 year old Sean Brown did make that last ditch attempt to change his plea to not guilty, but the judge would not allow it. Brown was going to plead guilty earlier this year, then suddenly decided to take his chances at trial. A jury was seated in a trial that could have ended in a much longer prison sentence for him, and he then agreed to the plea deal just last month. Well, the judge reminded him today that he participated in every step of that process, indicating throughout that process that he understood what he was agreeing to. He did not accept the attempted plea withdrawal here today, calling it a stalling tactic. And so Brown was sentenced as expected to 30 years in prison, 25 for manslaughter, which he will serve concurrently with a five to 15 year sentence on a conspiracy charge, plus five more years for having an illegal gun. 14 year old Amir Griffin was playing basketball at the Baisley Park houses back in October 2019 when he was killed by a bullet meant for a rival gang member. Sean Brown mistook him for that other person when he fired three shots that struck and killed Griffin, who was an innocent boy with a bright future. Amir's mother, Shaniqua Griffin, gave a tearful impact statement describing just how heartbreaking this has been for her. She was asked what she thought of her son's killer trying to change his mind about his plea again. I'm glad the judge saw fit, read him back what he spoke of, and it went the way I, I wanted it to go today, so I didn't have to deal with this anymore. It doesn't change the fact that my son is no longer here but a little bit of closure. This was a shot heard around the borough. We had a death of a 14-year-old child who was just out playing basketball. He was being recruited by high schools to play on their teams. And he got shot simply because he was in his home court playing ball. Yeah, there was a backstory to the brutal gang violence. The shooting happened during a bitter and bloody war between two gangs, sparked by a slashing earlier that year. Sean Brown was eventually rounded up in a 33 gang member indictment with more than 150 counts, including murder, in connection with that gang war that claimed Amir Griffin's life and left at least 20 other people with gunshot wounds. Brown's weapon charge, for which he was sentenced to five years today, was actually a separate case from that gang indictment. The judge talked about how South Jamaica became what he called a shooting gallery involving young people and that Brown made very violent choices. The prosecutor today pointing out that his intent was to kill that day, even though he shot the wrong person and that he never expressed remorse. Live at Queens Criminal Court in Kew Gardens, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay.